when I was a very young child, I knew that God called me to early childhood. I thought it was second grade, but I came on down. I was in kindergarten, believe it or not, when I knew I wanted to be a teacher. Kindergarten. I was a little girl, little tiny girl. Started kindergarten. I was the first kindergarten in Louisiana. They didn't have it. At Christmas time, some of y'all's probably heard this story a thousand times. At Christmas time, all the materials came in because we know now the funding came through. <laughs> we thought Santa Claus came. So we got blocks and a kitchen set and all those things. So very first kindergarten. And I wanted to be a teacher because I wanted to be their very first teacher and I wanted children. As I grew up, I wanted children to know that um, that school was a fun place and it was positive and everything was great. And so I wanted to be the very first. So since I've been here, I've learned and I've grown so much as a professional, but y'all, I've grown as a person. The most important part of my seven years here is I've grown as a person. I came here with very rough edges. I was on free reduced, I was on free lunch, not reduced. I was on free lunch from kindergarten to, to 12th grade. I lived in government housing. We received food stamps. I lived with a single mother, multiple, multiple divorces, multiple stepdads and multiple step siblings. And that's how I grew up. I had hand-me-down clothes and many other unmentionables I went through in life. And the thing that I want you all to know is that I made it out. I made it out. I was one of those babies and those families that you guys come here for every single day. This department, maybe not the other departments, but we serve those at risk, the lowest of the income, their parents are incarcerated, and that's who we serve, this group of people. And they can make it out. I promise you, me and my brother made it out. And we're giving back. That's our purpose in life is to give back. I know what it feels like um, to be one of those families and one of the babies that we serve. I may clean up nicely, <laughs> but only because my husband took me shopping when I got this job and took me <laughs> shopping for clothes for the very first time that I had ever been shopping to buy clothes. You guys, this place has impacted me in ways that there's no way that y'all could ever know. Like the box of crayons, we all leave our marks. I, these pictures of these kids, I don't need my name on them or anything. Just when somebody walks in early childhood services, they know exactly why they're here. Every day when you walk in, you don't have to guess. You don't have to wonder why you're here. It's all on the wall. It's all over the walls. My hopes is that when you walk in and you see those pictures, you see life and you see that they matter. I don't care if they're poor. I was poor. So I want you to see life and I want you to see the different side of the tracks. And then where I'm going back to, there's still the other side of the tracks. I'm going back to a place where if somebody sees me and Carmen on Facebook, they're gonna think it's weird. They're not gonna think that I love Carmen with all my heart and me and Tamika. They're not gonna see that y'all. They're just not. We only have black and white there. We don't have the in between. And, and it's all still very segregated. And it's very sad to me. It's very different to me going back there now. And the tracks still separate everybody there. You know, the scars that the babies and the families are facing right now that we serve, it leaves a forever scar. Now God has healed my scars, but they're still there. And, and so when you see somebody acting peculiar or they do things peculiar ways, just love them anyway because you don't know where they came from. Matthew 19, 14, Jesus said, let the little children come unto me. And he said, do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And this is a great, great team and it's getting greater by the day. And I'm so very excited about it. And the very last page on the crayon box that talked, it says, we are a box of crayons, each one of us unique, but when we get together, the picture is complete. I had no clue that it took all these different people coming together with their talents and their different languages and their different cultures to make it all, make us number one. We're number one. The best department, and I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs>